Welcome to Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. That's a lot of glasses. Well, but two for each of us. Oh, all right. So uh, this is from Titan. Kind of party. Matthew Zittrick. Daniel in the distance, do you hear that? <laughs> I do. That's, you know what? I think he's Whiskey over there. Whiskey Crusaders. Yes, he's over yes. there. He's got the a channel. Crusaders, Crusaders, Crusaders come Crusaders. from over here. The Crusaders are that way. So he sent us two. Uh, these are both Kelsey Creek. Okay. Right. And yeah. I thought, you know what? Screw it. Let's do them together because one's normal and one's cask strength. The same mash bill and same, all that? As far as I know, it's the same exact thing. No one knows where this is from in the sense of what it is specifically. It's a Sazerac brand. Mm -hmm. And so maybe it's Buffalo Trace. You and, should use the card to open that. But it's the house brand for Benny's Beverage Depot. Which is, you know, a chain of liquor stores. Not here. No. Where but is think it? of like the Total Wine House brands, okay. right? And Beans um beverage. Yeah. Depot. And they think that um that's so large I can't do the normal like get around one side of it. Mm -hmm. That is that big. That's a no joke cork. Yeah. There we go. Oh yeah, look at um, this cork. Show them the cork. Show them that fat chode of a cork. Jeez. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> yeah. Look at that on the uh, Medallion for scale. <laughs> um, anyway, there's some argument that it's Barton, maybe. Okay. It could be, but it's some people like to say Buffalo Trace, but that's just because it's the same parent company. Yeah. Right? I think we would be able to tell if it was Buffalo you Trace. You would think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. All right, so this is the normal, but it's just Kentucky bourbon mm -hmm. from someone known to buy a Sazerac. By Sony, this is 45%, 90%. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. And this one, second one, is allegedly the cast is version. The forty what? Well, that's not cask. No, it's forty-five. Wait a minute. It's proofed down. I thought it was cask strength. It's not. This it's is forty-five. Single barrel. So wait a minute. Usually they just proofed it down. Now is it just me or is single barrel more often than not re released a cask? Yeah. Okay. I think so they, they were going for. A, I think they were going for insinuating that this was some single cast, know. you know, but like, I won't, it even has a batch number instead of a barrel number. I'm not gonna project that on them. So here's the comparison we can do. Yeah. What does their Mass. main release do versus how does a variation of a single barrel affect it at the exact same proof? Yeah. Okay. All right. Weird. Interesting. Okay. Right. The brand is Old Tine, mm -hmm. T-I-N-E company. They are a little different on the nose. So the single barrel did something. It's a little thinner on the lower proof one. I mean, it's not lower proof actually. Well, you call this the original. Yeah, the original, original single, the single barrel. barrel. Yeah. The original has a little bit of a low end, not much mids, and a lot of highs. Oh, yeah, a lot of highs, mostly highs. And then the single barrel. It's a little bit more uh, rounded a more off. more mids. Yeah, rounded off mids. Think of it doesn't, so. It doesn't have the extreme pointy bits. You do audio. Do you know the whole how to pick out mids in a vocal audio real fast? Yeah, I don't really mess with that. So the um, mids are when something starts to sound like this. Right? Yeah. If you just crank the mids, mm -hmm. it goes like this. Yeah. Right? And so sometimes you need a little bit of that warmth that starts to get added right there. Mm -hmm. um, that's what's turned up in here is it goes slightly softened and rounded and a little more tonal. Okay, put your nose in the original and think mm. ever so slight. This is not helpful because we should have named the classic flavors first, but really quick, an offshoot flavor, an ever so slight dill note. 
Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. I was actually, uh, I just went to a farmer's market last week and I got a, I saw pickled okra. Okay. Which I kind of have a soft uh, spot uh, I for. Do, I do too, yeah. And which, but you never know how the random farmer is going to make it. Right. It's really good. Mm. So it's all the similar smells as pickles. Yeah. Right? It's just pickled okra, but it's reminding me of that. See, I would expect that to be yet another thing that is on your list because of texture. I know, because it's soft and furry. And soft and furry, and it's got it these might... weird little balls on the inside. Yeah. No, it, you would think so. Yeah. Dad taught me the trick. Mm. So you take it, and you don't take bites of it, and you just... Bite it with your teeth right at the end of the head, so the whole thing is one chunk, and then you just chew it up. Okay. And you don't encounter any of the slimy... Yeah, it is very slimy. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. And then what else is on this nose of the original? I mean, you've got the normal caramel sugars and things like that, but there's no real, like, cherries or berry-type notes. There is a little bit of a, um, a grassy quality on the nose. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try a sip of the original. Slight vanilla. Eh. It's honey it's, granola. You know, it's very classic. Yeah, simple honey granola. Not offensive, no. not really interesting. This is right down the middle of a home plate of something that, if somebody was gonna say, hey, give me the most mid-level whiskey bourbon. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's it. I agree with that. Let's see what the single barrel does. Oh, wait, now it got musty all of a sudden. Yeah. Did it get musty to it's you? It's a little bit mustier, yeah. Ooh, mulchy almost. It's not grassy. Mm-mm. Slight apple, though? Huh. Oh, I actually, oh, it's bitter. I actually prefer the original by a lot. Hmm. This is not over home plate. Mm-mm. It's not bad. Yeah, it's a little more earthy and tanniny. Yeah. At the same time. If I want something interesting that I gotta think about, it's gonna be that. Yeah. But if I want something that's just gonna be like, hey, I've had this a hundred times yeah. before. More enjoyable. I'm gonna go for more enjoyable. Well, it depends on, what, what, they it taste depends like on what I'm in the mood to try and enjoy. Yeah, I guess that's true. Am I looking for something that's just gonna be a background whiskey or something that I gotta think about? No one knows. You put the two together. I wrote a... I wrote a tasting, I put the two together. Yeah. I wrote a tasting thing for the Bonafide program yeah. that said, no one knows what the nose knows <laughs> because <laughs> the nose can't talk. That's the mouth's job. <laughs> I just immediately jumped to, I just immediately jumped to Ace Ventura. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> talking out of his ass. Yeah. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah. <laughs> The nose knows, but the nose knows, but no one knows what the nose knows because the nose can't talk. That's the mouth's job. I mean, I would, I would fault you for horribleness, but you're not wrong. Yeah. But you're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so. Dad, I told that to Dad, and he said, you should end it with, you hear me? <laughs> That'll get me started on the ears. Yeah. <laughs> Mixing them together improved it. Mix them together. It's a significantly better whiskey than either of them alone. On the palate, anyway. The mm. nose, it just became more like the original. Now it's uh, finishing with some candy, sugary sweetness. Mm. I haven't mixed it, I haven't tried the mix yet. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Nose doesn't change that much. Little, but not much. No, a little uh, graham cracker vanilla cream on the yeah. nose now of the blend. The palate, twice as good as either of them. Yeah. 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 This is the best of both worlds. Yeah, remarkably good. Yeah. The best of both worlds. Yeah, there you go. You have all the classic stuff. Yeah. And then you have things that are like a little bit off axis and making it interesting. Mm -hmm. hmm. I wonder how that would settle. I wonder if it settled yeah. over the two two weeks or so. I was just about to say. Become this. I was just about to say, this is a word that's not helpful, but I wanted to say it is a little brassy. Mm hmm. All right, and from an audio term, what is bra how does that translate uh, when you hear that's, brassy? That's to me. Uh, highs, yeah. but highs on the line of mids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As opposed to tenny, mm -hmm. which is high highs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little, little brassy. That's how I would interpret that. This, high mids. Sometimes I'm a little self-conscious about whether or not, you know, just the yeah. shorthand that we understand. Yeah. People are like, brassy? Yeah. What is this ass that's going on about? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a thing. Uh, we have Caleb Evans 
Sorry to hear about your microphone, Daniel, but <laughs> one does not simply break the international dibs protocol <laughs> or the no take backs accords. I like, that was my favorite yeah. that he formalized the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the, the dibs protocol the or the no take, take, no take backs accords. <laughs> so there was a meeting of world leaders yeah. to come to this. And there was an accord. It worked, I aimed for the Jameson. The Jameson's the key. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you gotta aim for a bottle. It's above that the trash can. That was almost too far. That's above the trash can, a little bit too far right. I so that to add if to you the... actually hit the Jameson, yeah, it's too far. it would plink and then land to the, uh, to the right of the trash can. Yeah. But you don't ever. No, I always go slightly. You slide to the left. I think uh, I should aim for the log of wool because it was close to the right hand side there. Mm, I don't know, man. I think you kind of found your, you're messing with uh, greatness here. That's true. Right? If it ain't, if we'll it ain't find broke, out tomorrow. If it ain't broke. <laughs> Uh, choo choo. Choo choo. I used to choose one or two Appalachian Trail through hike vlogs oh, to follow yeah. on YouTube each season. Yes. But much like whiskey review channels, now there's just too many to sift through as everyone and their brother jumped on the bandwagon. Yeah. So uh, there's, there's, I can't remember what they call partial hikers or mm -hmm. day hikers. So you so can there's, do the. There's early riser, homemade wanderlust, the magic was lost in oversaturation. I'll just stick to the vault. Yeah. So I have. I started watching those. Oh, they good? After his recommendation. Yeah. Those two? Yeah. They're actually very entertaining. Okay. Like if you like that kind of like you put it on in the background and sort yeah. of pay attention a little bit mm -hmm. and watch some things and it's yeah. really no, kind of interesting. That's a weird <laughs> comment to pull out because there's going to be hiking in my future. I'm going to be why? I feel like I need to be outdoors cuz I love to explore. Right. I do. But you do kind of reach a limit to the things that you can explore whenever you're under a roof. Right. So you just gotta, gotta get out there. So you lucked out because there's within an hour and a half oh. of here, yeah. there's like eight Texas state parks. Okay. So an easy is just to start hitting ones out by Johnson City or yeah. go to, uh, yeah, yeah. go to. Um, you give me the hiking. List. Enchanted Rock. You give me the, I've done, yeah. I've done Enchanted Rock. I Enchanted love Enchanted Rock. Enchanted Rock is awesome. It's fantastic, I love it. Yeah, yeah. I, I can give you all of them. We go to all of them. Yeah, yeah. The boys and I take mountain bikes to half of them. Dude, give me the thing. Yeah. All okay. right. Yeah, it's, it's great. Speaking of great, this isn't quite great. No. But it's not horrible. But the blend. Yeah, this. It's pretty damn good. I smell pipe tobacco all of a sudden now. Mm, aromatic pipe tobacco? No, 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 like Cavendish, like English musty pipe tobacco. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, there you go. What are you gonna do? Still brassy though. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. <laughs> if you fight me, a fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us. us.